Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulf Street Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. It is Mother's Day, and we want to wish all you mothers out there a very, very happy day. We have eight races here at Gulf Street Park. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, the turf course firm, a first race of five furlong sprints on the grass. These are made into fillies and mares, a three-year-olds and up. Eight runners will go to the post. The off-time favorite, number six, a woman with pants. Racing at Gulfstream. Toward the inside, Wove gets the first call and goes looking for the lead from a woman with pants who moves up to be second. Maddie's girl is on the outside away, racing third. Far from here is now fourth, two lengths better than an improving drama princess Coco with Sora between horses. Then it's Tartaletta, and trailing the field is Close Connection. They pass the half mile and kick to the far turn. They're four horses across the track. From the inside, Wove leads by a neck. A woman with pants is right alongside three wide out there is Maddie's girl. Two and a half to Sora taking in the action after 21 and two quarter time. Another two lengths back to far from here in Tartaletta and they run to the top of the stretch. Wove has inside position and still has the lead. Three wide. Maddie's girl is there. Second Sora will tip four wide and a woman with pants just ducked to the inside for the bug boy. Tartaletta's running on from the back. Still up for grabs here. It's Wove in front. Leads by two. Sora down the center. Coming on her late now on the outside. It's Wove in front. Sora begins to pick up the pieces. Here's Sora at Wove. Wove is reaching. Sora's lunging. Sora's in time. Wove is second, Tartaletta third from a woman with pants. Number five, Sora closes to win it and pays $12.80 to win. Owned by OMG Stables LLC, trained by Oscar Gonzalez, who ridden the victory today by Andre Blanco. Race number two, one mile on the main track. Claimers, Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and up, which have never won three races or a race in six months. No scratches or jockey changes to report. And they're off. Giacomo Zario was off poorly. From the center, ill-considered is away the best and goes looking for the lead, trying to find some company for that horse, and Secret Memory will provide it. Down to the inside and racing second now. Golden Empress is away racing third from El Nath, who runs up on the inside. Between horses, that's Rachel's girl and trailing the field, Giacomo Zaria. Out of the one-mile shoot, not much pace on here. With the lead, it's ill-considered three parts of a length. Secret Memory is second. Racing in third is Golden Empress. El Nath is now fourth with two and a half lengths to make up, followed by Giacomo Zaria and Rachel's girl. 24 seconds for the quarter time. Here's Secret Memory on the inside to put her head in front of Ill Considered in second. They quicken the pace a bit. They're two lengths better than Golden Empress and Elna, third and fourth. Racing fifth is Rachel's Girl and Giacomo Zaria's last. Past the half mile pole, they're paired off on the top end, but they went a half mile in 47 and 1. They quickened up big time in the second quarter and they continue to pour on the speed. Secret Memory has the lead. Ill Considered is second. Casper is riding Elna for more. She's third, two and a half lengths off the lead. Golden Empress tries to stick with her and they run at the 5 sixteenths. El Nath is three wide, starting to gain ground on secret memory and ill considered. These three will settle the score from Golden Empress, who's not doing enough in fourth. They move past the quarter pole, three quarters, 112 flat, and now ill considered is back on to take the lead. Secret memory cuts the corner. Three wide out there is El Nath, three sixteenths to go. It's secret memory and Carabayo on the inside. El Nath is wandering, not doing herself any favors. She's up into second. Ill considered is third, but secret memory's a winner. Secret memory and Jose Carabayo for George Handy. They report home three lengths in front. Elnath is second. It's close for third. Rachel's girl or ill-considered, then Golden Empress in 138 and 2. Number one, Secret Memory wins it for Barbara Ann McDonald, trained by the one and only George Handy, and ridden a victory today by Jose Caraballo. We're going to take a short break and be back for race number three and the Rainbow Six. Point of entry would not be denied. And they're into the stretch. Point of entry's taking the lead. Point of entry, a two-length lead. It's point of entry taking the lead. Point of entry will go to the Breeders' On Cup. On a five-race winning streak. Five-time grade one winner from a deep Phipps family with a pedigree and physical to become the heir of Dinah Former. Point of entry. Standing at Adina Springs.
Welcome back for the third race. Seven and a half furlongs. Claimers, four-year-olds and up, which have never won three races. Scratch the main track only participant, number nine, out of door. And they're up. Leighton Fire was a step slow. Nobody really intent on the lead. Dominate is moving to challenge with Louis the Brawler and alongside Stack the Deck. Wide on the course early is Kit Kat Man. He'll look to drop over and save ground in the run to the first turn. Followed by Mr. Blues. A bit wide through the turn is a nice rendition. He's third last. Second last is Leighton Fire and two lengths to the trailer, Lover's Key. The run around the first turn and Juan Lopez is in fact on the offensive with Louis the Brawler. He's opened a five length lead. Racing in second position now is Stack the Deck from the outside, Dominate third. Kit Kat Man is fourth, but he's better than seven or eight off the speed now. Then Mr. Blues, followed by a nice rendition. Leighton Fire and Panici held up at the back, second last, and three and a half to the trailer, Lover's Key, as they chase Louis the Brawler. The Oldsmar Invader, Louis the Brawler, won a 22 and three opening quarter, and he moves with less than half a mile to go on a five length lead. Dominate starts to ratchet up the pressure. Half mile, 45 and two. Back third is stacked the deck. Kit Kat Man, unleashed now by Gaffleone. He's inching closer. He's into third, two lengths better than Mr. Blues, then comes a night rendition and Leighton Fire, and they run to the top of the stretch. Louis the Brawler's been on a mission. He's yet to be reeled in. He's four lengths in front. Dominate his second. Kit Kat Man to the outside, now third. Then Mr. Blues and toward the outside coming on as a nice rendition. Top of the lane. Can Louis the Brawler keep this up? He's three lengths in front. From the outside, Keith Kit Kat Man, and here comes Mr. Blues and Dominate. Swarming in on Louis the Brawler, who's almost there. On the outside, Kit Kat Man is wandering. Mr. Blues is splitting horses. He's coming on. It's Mr. Blues to win it. Dominate is second. I think Kit Kat Man gets third over Louis the Brawler, who was fourth in 130 flat. Number one, Mr. Blues closes to score and pays $14.20. Owned by Lucky Seven Stable. Trained by Larry Bates and ridden to victory today by Juan Leva. The fourth race, six furlongs. These are claimers, fillies, and mares, three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Scratch the five, Trezuente, and note the number three will race with blinkers off. And there it was a level beginning. From the center, Zamorata wins the break. Front cover Dream moves to challenge, and Big Bread Kitten is also away in the top flight. These two uh, scramble for the early lead, with Bon Nui away from fourth now, a neck better than Pure Bliss. Then down to the inside, it's Keep in Mind, and Joaquina has no early speed, and she's last of all. Front cover Dream has a head in front. Zamorata is perched three wide, and from between them, Big Red Kitten. They're a length and a half better than Bon Nui, who's now racing fourth in front of Pure Bliss and fifth. Then Keep in Mind, and Joaquina. 23 and one for the quarter time. They speed around the far turn. Front cover Dream is in front for Nelson. Three wide, Zamorata moves to challenge and Big Red Kitten between horses. Two lengths back to Bon Nui, ridden by Gaffleone to get it going now from fourth. Then to the inside in Pure Bliss, followed by Keep in Mind, and they run to the top of the stretch. Zamorata starts to do the best work here. Zamorata turns for home on top. Keep in mind, splits horses well. Four wide and front cover Dream will have to do better than that. 46 and four for a half mile. They're into the stretch. It's Zamorata's in front. Front cover Dream coming back at her and keep in mind is down the center here's keep in mind getting up on the outside stablemate front cover dream tries to re-rally into second she'll be third but keep in mind's a winner by a length and a half zamorata second front cover dream and pure bliss and 59 and one number two keep in mind gets the job done for verbal's racing stable trained by randy persuade and ridden to victory today by miguel vasquez we will take a short break and we'll be back for race Number five in just a couple of moments. There's a new day dawning in Florida. Never before has a Breeders' Cup Classic winner retired to stud in the Sunshine State. Until now. Adina Springs presents three-time grade one winner and earner of over $4 million, Fort Larned. New to Adina Springs South. Welcome back for race five. Seven and a half furlongs on the firm turf course. These are maiden claimers. Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and up with ten runners going to the post. The off-time favorite, number six, Lying Eyes. And they're up to a level beginning. 
Trying to establish a leader here. Cat Lucky looks like she'll go up to take the slack, but there's really no pace on at all. Sam Weiss is taken in hand by Carabao to race behind the speed. She wants to draft along as Cat Lucky leads in the run to the first turn. Alongside her is Lying Eyes. The favorite is now well placed to be second under Nunez from our bar lady who sets up job third. Royal Spaces is now fourth. Sam Weiss down to the inside is now fifth. A neck better than an outside running Blue Sapphire. Majestic Gabriel's between horses. Then it's a length back to Gold Celebrity followed by Bay Road and it's two and a half lengths to the trailer and Jelly. Down the back stretch they go. The opening quarter went in 23 and 3. On the inside, Cat Lucky leads by a neck. Lying Eyes applies pace pressure while second, a length and a half in front of our bar lady. She gets a great trip. Third behind the speed, a neck better than Royal Spaces, followed by Subwesa. She's within four of the top. Toward the outside, Gold Celebrity will have to cover ground, getting around to running Blue Sapphire. On the inside in Bay Road, second last now is Majestic Gabriella. And Jelly is still last, and they run around the far turn. They want a 47 and 3 half mile, and Cat Lucky has the lead. Lying Eyes is their second, but here's Gold Celebrity. Up and on the outside was fifth, now third, now second, and now in front. Gold Celebrity and Gaffleone just made a big move to take the lead. Saboise is working off the fence for Carabao. She needs clear passage. Gold Celebrity cut the corner very wide there and has allowed the opportunity for somebody else to run on. Gold Celebrity's in front. Saboise is coming on. Shifting ground, but gaining ground. Also coming on now is our bar lady. Here's Saboise and Carabao. Best of all eight. Saboise Boisa moving clear by a length and a half. Second was Gold Celebrity in front of our bar lady. Close fourth between Lying Eyes and Royal Spaces in 131 and three. Number three, Saboya scores for Tanner and Stable, trained by Rodolfo Garcia, and that gives jockey Jose Caraballo his second victory on the card. Race number six is one mile. It's an allowance optional claimer for three-year-olds and up. And we have seven runners going to the post with the off-time. A favorite is number five, Abounding Legacy. They're off. From the outside, Heartstopper begins the best, goes looking for the lead toward the rail. Southern Barbecue moves to challenge. And here's Divine Energy, the gray, taking it up now. Divine Energy will lead in the run out of the one-mile shoot. To his inside is Wild Force, who's now second. Southern Barbecue's up the inside. Then it's Heartstopper to the outside, followed by Party Crasher, two and a half clear of a bounding legacy who sets up second last, and the trailer is Rome Burned. Down the back stretch they go, 23 and two the quarter time. Eddie Castro and Divine Energy show the way by two and a half lengths. Racing second is Southern Barbecue from the outside. That's Heartstopper. Down to the inside and Wild Forest, followed by Party Crasher. A bounding legacy not asked to do much running. He's second last and about six behind and a length to Rome Burned. They move past the 5.8s, go to the half-mile pole. The leader, Divine Energy, at the half-mile pole after a half and 46 and four. And the second is Southern Barbecue while off the fence. Heartstopper is third. Divine Energy's asked to do a little bit more work now. Meanwhile, the bounding legacy is yet to be heard from. He's still ridden confidently, but he's seven lengths behind as they run around the far turn. Now the pace quickens, 5 16ths to go. Heartstopper, 17 to 1, and up to challenge his fellow 17 to 1 shot, Southern Barbecue. Now Prado gets after a bounding legacy. He gets around Divine Energy into third with four lengths to raise and 3 16ths to raise it. Top of the lane. On the outside, it's Heartstopper for a short lead. Southern Barbecue is second. A bounding legacy still has three lengths to come. Eighth of a mile to go. Southern Barbecue, dead game, digging in. From second is Heartstopper, a bounding legacy on the outside. He might get second. He's not going to win. Southern Barbecue springs the upset. Heartstopper held second from Abounding Legacy third. Party Crasher fourth. Number one, Southern Barbecue comes off the layoff and springs the upset. Pays $36 even. Owned by Jackson Better Farm Incorporated. Trained by Stan Gold. And ridden to victory today by Tyler Gaffleon. We'll take a short break and be back for the late Daily Double.
We're back for race number seven. It's one mile on the turf. It's the start of optional claimer. Phillies three-year-olds, and we have one scratch in the race. It's number three, Angel of Love. They're off. From the center, Fever Las Vegas begins nicely. Down toward the inside, Princess Zenyi moves to challenge. Image of Rachel is away in the top flight. The pace is slow early. Then it's Susie's Pride of Paris, third last, second last, Terry's Big Heart, and two and a half to the trailer, Rockin' Ronda. They run around the first turn, chasing the speed of Fever, Las Vegas, who leads it by a length and a quarter. Princess Zenya a bit keen while second in front of Image of Rachel, third. Then Terry's Big Heart racing fourth to her outside as Susie's Pride of Paris, and two lengths to the trailer, Rockin' Ronda. Opening quarter carved in 24 and 4. Into the back stretch they go. Fever Las Vegas controls the pace by a length. Image of Rachel on the outside is second. Princess Zenny is now third. Susie's Pride of Paris moves up and on the outside of her, racing a joint third now. Two in front of Terry's Big Heart and trailing the field. Rock and Ronda. They move with half a mile left to go, and Fever Las Vegas doing it easily so far. Leads it a length and a quarter. Image of Rachel's chirped along a bit just to keep close in second. A length and a half in front of Susie's Pride of Paris and Princess Zenyi. Now the pace quickens. Terry's Pig Heart and Rockin' Ronda at the back. They're paired off, and Image of Rachel just went on the offensive. Image of Rachel is 25 to 1 and puts her head in front. Fever Las Vegas tries to counterpunch second. From the outside, Susie's Pride of Paris, then Princess Zenyi. Rockin' Ronda unwinds from the back. Any one of the six can win from here. They're out. At the top of the stretch. Image of Rachel has the lead far outside. Rockin' Ronda coming on from dead last, and Terry's Big Heart looks for clear room inside the funnel for long. Here's Terry's Big Heart muscling through between horses to take the lead. Rockin' Ronda on the outside and Princess Zenyi, but Terry's Big Heart and Panici moving clear. By a length and a half, second was Rockin' Ronda in front of Princess Zenyi, third. Image of Rachel, fourth. Number two, Terry's Big Heart closes between horses and wins for owner trainer Steve Dwoskin. Ridden to victory today by Luca Panici. The eighth and final race is six and a half furlongs maiden claiming event for Phillies and Mayors three year olds and upward. Scratch the eight, Starship Salsa. Also scratch number 11, Street Kitty. And runners away. From the outside, Fabulous Appeal and Can Can Lady get the first calls. Here's True Rice Pudding and Manuel Cruz moving up now. True Rice Pudding takes the lead. The way Bell is is right there in second on the outside and Fabulous Appeal with Can Can Lady. Spring Me, the favorites away in the top flight, fifth, but only a length behind. It's a length and a half to the team of Como Luz, Moonlight Time, and My Eastern Beauty. They're three lengths better than the team at the back, Konafa and My Alex Alexandra. They pass the half mile pole and move to the far turn. True Rice Pudding has the lead three parts of a length. Can Can Lady is three wide from between them. It's fabulous appeal. The way Bell is is now inside well fourth now. To the outside here, Spring Me. Spring Me's moving up. Was fifth. Now third. Soon to be second. And moving out the leader. And the leader's now Can Can Lady. That's all for True Rice Pudding. And Can Can Lady has the lead. Spring Me to the attack now. Second three and a half to miss where the way Mel Bell is. And on the outside of my Eastern Beauty, there's a quarter of a mile to go. Can Can Lady and Harry Hernandez turn first with the lead. Toward the outside, My Eastern Beauty begins to come on. Spring Me's flattening out just a little bit, and Mommy inside the way Bell is. Four chances here. Past the eighth pole, My Eastern Beauty down the center for Fontenez. Can Can Lady and Hernandez, and up the rail, the way Bell is. And Gonzalez battle on. The way Bell is trying to get to Can Can Lady. Can Can Lady. She can, and she did. From the way Bell is second, then My Eastern Beauty, Spring Me, and My Alex Alexandra. And 119 flat. Can Lady gets the photo and wins the nightcap, owned by Gus King, trained by Louis Ramirez, and ridden to victory today by apprentice Harry Hernandez. In the pick four, four of four, paid a very nice $7,665.75. In the pick five, only four of five, paid $178.95, will have a carryover of $23,089. In the pick six, only five of six, $6,146.06 will have a carryover going into Wednesday of $58,228.66. And that wraps up Sunday's card. Remember, we're dark for live racing on Monday and Tuesday. Well, we'll be back on Wednesday. It is Preakness week. What a week it's going to be at Gulfstream Park. The Preakness on Saturday afternoon. What a week. You got to be at Gulfstream Park. Good night and good luck.